One of the most beautiful day in the history of this world is this International Yoga Day. I'm wishing all a very beautiful and a happy International Yoga Day 2023. Yoga consists of four stages. Raja Yoga, Karma Yoga, Bhakti Yoga and Jnana Yoga. And Napoleon said, give me four people who can listen to me and I will rule the whole world. And everybody thought Napoleon was talking about four people. No, Napoleon was talking about Raja Yoga, Karma Yoga, Bhakti Yoga, Jnana Yoga. Anybody who has got this four yoga, they become the greatest leaders. Anybody who has got these four stages will rule the house beautifully. Anybody who has got these four stages are the richest. Anybody who has got these four stages are the healthiest in this world. So please practice Raja Yoga, Karma Yoga, Bhakti Yoga, Jnana Yoga. Take a pledge today on the International Yoga Day that this too stabilizes any house, any offices. Anything you wanted to achieve in the world, this post is. Raja Yoga. Raja Yoga is a physical form of exercise which they call it as asanas. But these asanas are not a jerk. It just tries to help you to bridge the gap, communication gap. The body stretches. Varieties of asanas. And these asanas are understood so that people when they go to do the physical work in the land all that exercises needs the body stretch hence the raja yoga came when you go to the physical labor or you go to your office make sure that every one hour you get up to stretch a bit on these asanas which gives you the health raja yoga came in that form and people have forgotten to do Raja Yoga in their regular day. day. Raja Yoga is not meant only as a yoga exercise, which you do it once in a while when you go to yoga class. No, no, no. Without Raja Yoga, you don't even leave your house. Those who leave the house are creating damage, breakdown, vehicle breakdown on the way. Hence, all this stress and tension. Practice Raja Yoga with varieties of asanas. Next we come to Karma Yoga. Anybody does Karma Yoga. The family in the house does Karma Yoga. The husband helps the wife in the house. And then he goes anywhere in the world to do any kind of work. He will do it with love because Karma Yoga teaches not to accept. Karma Yoga says keep doing work without expecting any results. You are not expecting, you are deep in love. When you help your wife and the wife help the husband in the house, they both melt to become yin and the yang, positive and creative. That first deeper, that first charging of the light, you carry the light and you go, you are a light unto yourself. That is karma yoga. Do not forget that you do your karma yoga before leaving the house and after you come back from your office or anywhere. Karma yoga is very important to do your Major things like clearing up the solar lights, the rainwater harvesting, electrical plumbing, sanitary main, the maintenance part. Once you do that one, you felt you have done your karma on that day, morning as well as evening, every day, not once in a while. Don't think we'll do the checking once in a week. No, every day checking is very, very important. Then we go to Bhakti Yuga. Before you leave your house, as you get up, you sing a song and the wife follows it up. Wife sings a song, you follow it up. That both union creates the electricity charge in the house. Bhakti is nothing but you are deeply in love with your guru. You are deeply in love with your kutumba, your family. You are deeply in love with the, of course, when you are deeply in love with your family, you get connected to the joint family and the family tree. When these two are joined, no forces in the world can even stop you. Such a beautiful music because when both sings together, get up and sing together and clean the house, sing together and light the lamp, sing together and do your Raja Yoga. And then you go anywhere in the world, you know, nobody can split. They can destroy your health, they can destroy your richness only when you both are not working 
to make sure that bhakti you got the song of your life, the poetry of your feeling, that spiritual wordings which comes in that song is bhakti yoga. And the last comes in jnana yoga. Jnana yoga is that you read your Bhagavad Gita at least to one page in conscious state. Bhagavad Gita, Ramayana, Purana, Vedas, whichever is your holy book. Please read one page together. Which you, if there's a wife at home, husband at home, or your elderly people at home, your children at home, together reading. And then a small interpretation. And then you go. Whether they like it or not, just interpretation. It connects your jnana. If you have these four, you go any part of the world, you are successful. Yes. That Kudumba Abhyukta Kudumba Vamsha Vaksha. After the four stages, you go to the three stages. You don't need the jnana at all. This Kudumba Abhyukta Kudumba Vamsha Vaksha, the family, the joint family, and the family tree. This family, I practice the Raja Yoga, Karma Yoga, Bhakti Yoga, Jnana Yoga, you get. You connect these three strongly. When you connect these three, those who have practiced Raja Yoga, Karma Yoga, Bhakti Yoga, Jnana Yoga, they automatically comes to these three. Once you have the Kudumba, the Abhyukta, Kudumba, Vamsha, Purusha, who else can stop you in this world? You are the greatest. You are the most purified person in the world. Not a drop of dirt can spoil you. You have the huge army supporting you. And from there you go to have the two stages, the yin and the yang, positive and negative, husband and wife, father and mother, girl and the boy. You don't differentiate. Here, girl and the boy, the moment you see girl and the boy, sex comes in, everything destroys. Girl are not supposed to talk to the boy. Boy is not supposed to talk to the girl. Nobody is allowed to express the love. Once you understand this one, the, the two in the house, Creates electricity, creates deeper. The two together is the strength. And then you become one. You go any part of the world, you never say you are lonely. Loneliness never come because all these armies are with you. And you are practicing these armies together. Where are you lonely? And in that unti, in that one, you can meditate. And in the meditation, even Dean Ornish, the cardiologist who did the reversal of heart disease, said meditation helps you to bring down all the diseases. Yes, all the diseases. Because when the body is just relaxed, the lowest ebb, you can see the truth, you can see the God. No diseases will enter because the army is not chanchala, it's not disturbed. Raja Yoga, Karma Yoga, Bhakti Yoga, Jnana Yoga practice to make your house a beautiful house. These two you don't have to pay money anywhere. It is there in the family, joint family, in the family tree. Every day without practicing this, don't do not go out. When you come back also practice this one. You get your family, your joint family in the family tree. Then you get us to the inner father and mother. Then when you're alone, you can practice. You become one of the greatest Maharishis. Mahayogis, Mahakavi, you become the greatest person who writes and people love you. Yes, it is a truth in that yoga. It is not confined to a particular religion. And even if it is confined to a particular religion, every religion, they understand this one because yoga is a way of life. It has taught the whole world the jnana. When they forget to do it, there is always war and disturbances. Practice this one. And every family will have a pyramid. That pyramid is a strength. Happy International Yoga Day to you all.